Hi everybody, I'm Daniel Walters. I'm here at Winding Woods Ranch and I'm here with Matthew, my son. And today we're going to show you how we make toys for our birds. With, with the cost of toys today, they're so expensive when you go out and buy them. So this is how we make our toys and we make them very inexpensive. They literally cost us a couple bucks. And the main thing that I like to point out when you make a toy is the chain that you're going to use. Now this is a chain that we picked up for a couple bucks. Uh, we used to be able to buy them at the dollar store for like a dollar. This one I think was two dollars, but that's okay. We cut them in half, so we fold it and cut it right in the middle. And then you basically have two of these. And that gives you a ring on one end and then a link on the other end. What I love about this chain is there's no split or cut in the chain. It's solid. And the reason that's so important is when the birds play with it, they can get their beak stuck in the chain if it's not solid like this. So it's one of the best chains. And I'm gonna just show you all you need is a drill to basically, in a bit, big enough for whatever size chain you're using. And I'm gonna move that out of the way. And all you're gonna do, Matthew's gonna get started here and actually put together a toy so that you can see it. And when you assemble these toys, you're basically gonna string different items. Now we go to the thrift store and we get boxes of toys and things and we run them through the dishwasher where you can soak them and disinfect them and then drill holes in them. This is a cup. There's a rawhide piece. You can buy rawhide at the dollar store. I'm going to just show you some items. The balls. These are like practice balls. You drill a hole and you can stick those on. There's different colors. You can take wood. We've got blocks here that are cut. You can take natural wood. Here's actually an older one that I just threw in here and it's got the little ball and we put a bell on the end. Now to actually assemble one it's real easy because you're basically going to thread your stuff on and then on the end you're going to use an S like that, S hook, and you're going to stick it at the bottom of your chain and then you can put either another item to close it off. It could be a toy like this. You could hook on here, close it off or take a bell, hook it on here and close it off once it's strung. I'm going to show you some different clasps for the top. Now here's some that some people use and I'm not real fond of these. See that? I think they're called carabiners or something like that. But what scares me about these is the birds can grab them and get their beak caught in between here and it can do some damage. So I stay away from these, this style. What I like to see people use is something like that which is like for a key ring that you can adjust and tighten up and if you have to you can use a pliers or something to tighten it up and we use a lot of these just like this where we can put these on the top see where the ring is there you just stick it in and that's how you're gonna hang the toy and then tighten it up and you can use a, a wrench if you have to because you know they'll undo them if they can uh, we use lava rock. You can drill holes in lava rock. You can get that at Home Depot. You can use different toys. This is part of a puzzle, I believe. These are. Here's a bunch of blocks. <laughs> Here's even an old spatula that works pretty good. A bell on there. And like I say, they literally cost you a couple dollars to make. Now, the reason I'm showing some of these containers is you can even take these lids here's one for garlic and you can drill these and put these on your toys and that works really good and let's see how we doing Matthew let's see here what you did oh that's pretty cool <laughs> and that could be for a medium size or even a big bird it's not that they have to sit here but it gives them something to grab onto uh, this is a rawhide piece you could cut this in three pieces if you want it you can take rawhide bones. You can do all kinds of stuff. And these can hook to the top. Pretty cool, buddy. <laughs> Who are you going to give that one to? I don't know. Maybe your favorite parrot? OK. But let me, let me show you one more item uh, that's fun for these guys. It's fun for you if you're going to train your bird. And here's a, a case for DVDs. And what I like to do with these is once you use these up, the DVDs, you can go ahead and keep the base, or if you know somebody who uses a lot of DVDs, ask them for their empty container. And this base works really great if you want to teach your bird 
to put rings on something. You see places sell things like this, and this is very inexpensive. You can go to Home Depot and buy rings like this, different sizes, different colors, and you can teach the bird to go ahead and, and put them on there. So I hope you enjoyed this. It's a very inexpensive way to make your own toys. And like I say, the key is to have the right clips when you hang your toys and you use the right chain. And like I say, you can use these dog choke chains, cut them in half, do different sizes from small to large birds, and it works great. Thanks for helping, Matt. You're welcome.